Hey, Coach Mike Venarzo here at the Jocko Elite Training Center in Delray Beach, Florida. I'm here with one of my athletes, Ryan Jimmel. How you doing, Ryan? Good. He's from Canada. He's going to be fighting in the UFC in July. Uh, we're here to work the stabilizers, the core muscles. We're here to try to improve our, our performance on the mat by specifying a certain workout program that's going to basically focus on this part of his body. With that being said, there's nothing else to do but get busy. Okay, today's workout is a 15 exercise circuit that has two supersets in it. Uh, Ryan's already warmed up. Don't attempt to do this without warming up. He's sweating, he's feeling good. He probably went through 15 to 20 minutes of warm up before we start the exercises. Everything's pretty much focused on the core. The first thing he's gonna do though is the movement that we do in sports. He's gonna shadow box on his feet. Okay, so we'll go from the shadow box to the end of the workout, then I'll talk to you guys as we go along. As I mentioned earlier, Ryan's already warmed up, but this is a part of the warm up as well, just shadow boxing. He's focusing on his technique, he's staying relaxed, he's got his hands moving, his feet moving, his chin down. Uh, these are the techniques that he hopes to use in his next fight, okay? So uh, we typically we'll do shadow boxing for a great period of time, maybe, you know, at least five minutes, maybe 10 minutes or more. Um, a lot of people kind of discount it because you're not hitting a bag, you're not hitting the mitts, you're not hitting a person, but there's nothing wrong with hitting air because that teaches you one thing, balance. And that's what he's working on right now. Plus he's warming up his joints and getting the motion. Okay, the second thing that we're gonna do in this 15 exercise circuit is Turkish get-ups. I believe this is an excellent exercise to do for your stabilizers, uh, where what Ryan will be doing here is he'll be taking a weight and he's gonna take his arm and extend that arm while lying flat on his back. Then he's going to stand up segment by segment step by step, he's gonna stand up, always keeping his eye on the weight, and always keeping his arm extended, locked out. That's gonna send the weight down through his body and cause his muscles to stabilize all the way up and all the way down. The key to this exercise is not to go too fast. You wanna actually do it kind of slow, so you can allow all of your muscles to get involved in the motion. Extend it, comes to his elbow, then his hand. He's still looking at the weight all the way, then his knee. And he's gonna stand up, still looking at the weight. Hold it for a couple of seconds, and he goes back down to a knee, Elbow, his side, his back, that's one rep, he switches the weight to the other side and goes the other way. Still focus. That arm lock, very important, stands up, taking his time, pulls over two seconds, down, hand, elbow, and flat. Uh, he just got done with the Turkish get ups, so we're going to start the third exercise in the circuit which is a plank, it's a side plank, done with, done with the dumbbell in a similar manner that he did the Turkish get-up. So he takes the weight, lifts it directly above his body, keeping his arm locked out, he begins to make his way up to the position. In this position, you don't stand all the way up. He goes from elbow to hand, pulls the bottom leg, stabilizes himself, and lifts his leg up for a count. We're gonna do three seconds today. And that's down, and then he goes down to his hip, his elbow, then his back, and he repeats that. We're gonna do five reps total. Really warmed up and we've done almost total body exercises to get warmed up now we're going to start focusing on this group of muscles right here I want to get him really tired so when we go back to stabilizing later in the workout he's not using these muscles so much but he has to use the small muscles and the muscles around the spine and all the stabilizers uh, more so so right now we're gonna do a three-way setup and what Ryan's gonna do is leave his feet flat here his butt slightly close to his feet so he puts his hands across his chest and he's going to go elbow to knee one side, go down, then elbow to knee on the other side, and then go both elbows to both knees. That's one rep. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do 15 to 20 reps. Today, he's doing 15. Go. This next exercise is rather difficult. He's gonna start right now. It's called V-ups. He's lying flat, with his hands above his head. He's gonna bring his uh, fingers and his toes together. And the only part that's gonna still be remaining on the mat is his uh, glute. So as it comes, it's going to bring the lower and upper body all together. Form kind of like a V. Notice he's breathing. Notice how he's got his legs extended, fully extended, and he's reaching all the way back with his hands before bringing them together. We definitely want to work our lower abs. That's going to add to our power, plus it's going to add to our protection when we're striking. So the next exercise in the circuit uh, is the leg extension, right? brings his head up, so he's looking at his feet, and he brings his knees up as high as he can to his chest, and he extends them out to six inches, and then repeats the motion. 
This is an exercise that you have to do quite a few reps on. So uh, the prescribed rep for this circuit is 60. Okay, moving on in the circuit. We're gonna do some rotational exercises here. We got a 30 pound medicine ball here. Ryan's gonna use it. He's gonna go halfway back, hold the position, then he's gonna rotate one way or the other, touching the ball, then returning, then returning back to the regular position. Okay? This is excellent for your lower abs and your um, stabilizers here. Now that we've done quite a few reps and he's getting a little fatigued in the midsection, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the stabilizers. He's on his elbows. I want to ride on the point of his elbows and I want him to hold his face in his hand like this. Okay? Then push up to the toes. He's going to hold this position. He's going to pull his belly button to his spine and tighten his abs up as tight as he can and tighten his glutes up as tight as he can. He's going to hold this position. It's done for time. Nothing exciting, but a lot of good work being done here. Right now, uh, he's going to hold his position for a minute and 25 seconds. Right now, we're going to go into a, a, a side plank, and uh, he's not going to lift the leg up like we did earlier in the workout. He's just going to keep it there, but he's going to reach up for the sky, and he's going to post off his hand here. All right, and we're going to hold this one for time as well. It's not as long as the, uh, the original plank. It's, uh, it's only going to be for one minute. But this is our first superset. So when he gets done with the one minute hold here, he'll start to rep his hips up and down, okay? Now the repetitions we're gonna do here is 30. So he's got a one minute hold and 30 repetitions. We're working the muscle groups and the stabilizers in the midsection today, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit with a couple exercises, and this is one of them. Uh, it's, it's another uh, position that you're gonna hold. Uh, where Ryan's going to post off with both elbows here, and he's going to post off his heels. And what it works is the underneath, it's going to work underneath here, it's going to work here on your hamstrings, your glutes, and also your stabilizers here in your midsection as well. So he just holds that position for time. Uh, your hamstrings have to be pretty strong to do this one. So if, you know, if you start feeling them uh, pulling back there, just ease off a little bit. Or you could actually put your hands underneath your body here to, to take a little of the weight off. But for Today, Brian will not be doing that. Hips up a little higher. And we're going to do that hold for one minute. Superman. Uh, I love this position. It gives you a little bit of break from working the front side. You're also working your, you're going to work your hamstrings, your glutes, the muscles in your back with this exercise and your shoulders. Brian's going to bring his upper body up, off the mat, and his legs. I just want the midsection here uh, uh, touching the mat at this point. So he's just going to hold that position, we're going to hold it for one minute, at the end of that minute he's going to begin to rep up and down, so bringing his body flat and bringing the two parts of his body back off the mat. You're really squeezing your glutes here and you're working your back muscles quite a bit right here. Ryan is now in a position where he's doing wall sit. Um, this is really working his uh, quads, it's working everything actually. But uh, we like to put him in this position, not just for physical, but to uh, train his brain. This is a tough position to be in. He's got his back pressed against the wall, his elbows are against the wall. He's at, almost at a, a parallel position here, and uh, we hold this for time. Sometimes we hold this as long as five minutes, but today he's just going to do a couple minute uh, wall sit. We just did a wall sit where his feet were on the mat. Now we're going to do uh, another exercise where his hands are on the mat. So what I'm going to have Brian do is put his hands on the mat, and I'm going to show you two different ways to get up. You can either hop up, uh, go ahead and hop up, Brian. You can either hop up here if you're advanced, you can just hop into the position, come back down, or you can walk the wall with your, like that, or you can walk the wall with your feet and slowly, gradually get up there. If you do that, um, once you get into this position, I just want you to move your hands towards the wall to that position. He's still at an angle here, he's not quite all the way up, straight up and down. Still out of data. But what we're going to do with this position is we're going to hold this position to cause us to stabilize this part of our body all the way up. Okay? Now I may add motion to this. So I might tell Ryan to do 10 push-ups. And I'm going to have him just do a couple to demonstrate. You've been there for about a minute, minute and a half, two minutes, what is it? I lose track because I don't use a watch. That's why these guys don't like me sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to have him walk down to this position here. Then he's going to give me a couple uh, push-ups from that position. Then I'm going to have him walk down slowly. 
And that completes uh, uh, the 14th exercise and the 15th exercise circuit. The workout is very difficult, but it depends on the repetitions and the time, the break in between. We try to get as little rest in as possible in between uh, uh, exercises, okay? And we try to set the reps pretty high and the time frames pretty high as well. Right now, we're doing the last uh, exercise in the circuit, number 15, and that's shadow boxing. It was actually the first one as well. Now that he's got all this tired and he's worked all his muscles, he goes back to the shadow boxing. Instead of doing five minutes, I'm gonna have him do a 10 minute round to finish this baby off uh, to, to make sure he's pushing himself and really uh, extending on the punches and really using his trunk and using his legs, keeping those knees bent, keeping that chin down, keeping those hands up. And remember, this workout can be done as an individual workout or it can be done uh, as attached to a practice session.